We've all heard the sales pitch warning us to act now because it is a limited time offer. Well, in a sense, that's our Lord's message in this Sunday's Gospel. The crowds are caught up with the latest news, with what's trending in a first century sense. They talk about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. Then our Lord himself refers to another news story that apparently dominated the media. Those 18 people who were killed when the tower at Siloam fell on them. The crowds are so wrapped up in the latest news that they miss the good news right in front of them. They are so engrossed in their own times that they don't realize the purpose of time. The eternal one is right in front of them. Eternal life is being offered, but they are more concern concerned about headlines. We're just like the crowds 2,000 years ago, only more so, because we have the technological means to be constantly distracted by what's trending, what our friends post or tweet or whatever. We are so wrapped up in time that we fail to appreciate its real purpose. Time is the opportunity for repentance and reform, for growing in union with Christ. At some point, time will end. That opportunity will be lost, and eternity will be upon us. Which is to say that salvation is a limited time offer. So the challenge for this week is to limit your time on social media and news media. How about setting a 30-minute limit to your use of digital media? The news will be there tomorrow. It doesn't depend on your knowing it. Salvation may not be there tomorrow. It depends on your response now. Take the two minutes to virtue challenge. Subscribe here.